and I can't wait to get you home. And he's here to talk about this new project. He's telling me he's very excited about it. How you doing, man? Yeah, I'm fine. How you doing? Good. Great. Yeah. You're looking good, too, man. Thanks. Sharp. Trying to look the part anyway. You know? Oh, it's not hard. <laughs> no, it's, it's going well. It's good. Yeah, you're I'm clean, happy. man. Thanks. Uh, you look good on the album cover, too. I don't know, can we get a close-up of this? Can we, can we do it here? We got it? This looks like your, your, your uh, left eye kind of got that slick Rick look. <laughs> look like a patch on your eye, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I've heard that. <laughs> You're not doing slick Rick raps on here, though, right? Oh no, no rap. No. Now this is this is really a good looking picture, though. I really Thank like you. it. Thank you. Um, but you are very pleased with the album. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the whole project and every everyone and everything involved. I'm very mm -hmm. excited with it. Did you work yeah. with some of the same people you worked with last time? No, all every, uh, only only one person. Our Greg Ware and John Lundy. Mm -hmm. They did Hard Up. Mm -hmm. um, and they did a, an up-tempo song on the album called Doing It. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I got with Barry Eastman and Paul Lawrence this time, and, uh, and you know, which is a plus. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kenny Harrison, you know, he did Vanessa Williams, her, you know, her hot single out right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dwayne Ladd, the song that, that they just came in with, Come As You Are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of great cats, you know, worked on this project. We all <laughs> meshed together to yeah. come up with a hit. So did you come in the same direction as the last album, or were you trying to do something different this time? Um, pretty much in the, in the same direction, just mm -hmm. um, on another plane, I guess I would say. More with the, you know, I'd stuck with the love stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, but it's stronger lyrically and melodically and definitely emotionally, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I was reading that, that uh, you, were, you were talking about how um, <clears throat> when people saw you perform, a lot of times they right. would say that After the that's show. not the same <laughs> thing I heard on the record. You yeah. know, it's like so much more emotion, yeah. but you kind of held back on the album. Yeah, because you know how it is singing every night. And I didn't, I didn't know how I would be every night performing. Mm -hmm. So, um, and this, this was, it was my first venture. So I wanted to do well every night. I didn't want my voice breaking up and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, going out every night, singing every night, um, my voice got stronger. I learned some technique in, in performing. I learned how to pace myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, on this album, well, um, what I promised to do was to show that emotion, show that strength, that power, you know, all that stuff. And that's the, uh, the one objective that I was able to serve you know, on this project. Mm -hmm. Why yeah. didn't you the first time around? Were you, were you afraid to? Or was it the producers holding yeah, well, you back? Or? It wasn't the producers. It was just a, a, a lot of it was just me learning how to sing in the studio. Oh, I see. And then again, not wanting to like hit those notes mm -hmm. and then get out there and people be looking for you to hit a note and you don't hit it. Because <laughs> I've been in concerts and my favorite artists, they've hit notes that I've loved to hear. And then get in the show, I'm like, oh, he didn't do it, mm -hmm. you know, or she didn't do it, uh -huh. you know, so, so I'm just, you know, I didn't want to do that this time, but, you know, I can rock the house now, you know, I can, uh -huh. I can do it every night, I'm sure. So it's a different thing, singing on stage and singing oh, in studios, absolutely, totally different. Absolutely. I mean, you have to do a lot of acting in the studio mm -hmm. in terms of, you have to pretend that somebody's, that there's an mm -hmm. audience there. Mm -hmm. At least that's the way I get, I get through with it, and I really get into the song, you know, I can't, I can't do material that I don't believe in. So, you know, first off, I do believe in the material that I do. And when I get in there, the directors, I just give them, the producers, I'm sorry, they, I just give them full control. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I like to say for the record, Barry Eastman mm -hmm. was a tyrant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he dogged me. <laughs> Did he really? <laughs> he, was, he was the worst. You know, he and Paul Lawrence, you know, they, they worked me good. Everybody else, they, they, were, they, were, they worked me. But Paul, um, Barry and Paul, they really did a number on me. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so I take it that was good. I mean, you seem pretty happy about it. It's yeah, like you know. You needed just, to be pushed like that. Yeah, it, it was good. I mean, it, I didn't break down. I mean, mm -hmm. because I, I like to work hard. I mean, this is all I do in my life. So, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, all I have to do is go in there and sing. I have eight, nine, 24 hours to do it and to get it right. Yeah. And even if I get it right, it's like, I right, you know, we're going to go for another pass. So are you ready? <laughs> so, so how do you feel you know, about that? Good. I mean, when you think you, you've got it, that that was it. And they say, well, let's go through it again. I want to do it again. I just, you know, I ask them, you know, we have another track. You know, did you save that? Uh -huh. Well, you know, I'll go for it. Yeah. You know, if I know that I've done a really good job, then, um, and even they want to do it again. Because I may have said a word wrong. I may not have phrased something right. Right, right. And um, the attitude has to be exact, you know, for it. It's just the, like the mood, the mood of the song. I try to play with the words when I sing. Mm -hmm. I like feeling, like, you know, a word like feeling it has to be saying with feeling. You know, yeah. that kind of thing. Uh -huh. So I, I do things like that when I'm in the studio. And if the producer feels like I didn't emphasize a word enough, he may like 
the, uh, the line, but that word wasn't right. So, Eric, we're going to go to another track. Let's get this song, let's get this word right. You yeah. Know? So. It's just a lot of work, man. People don't I know. know, you know. I know they don't. They think you go in there and sing for four and a half minutes and go no, home. No, no, no. You get four minutes on the record, but it's about 18, 13, 12 hours of work a lot of times. Uh-huh. One song, you know. 18, 13, 12. Where you come up with those numbers? The longest, I, I, cause I think back my first time, the longest I was in the studio one night was 14 hours uh -huh. singing. And I had uh, two. You're really confusing me. Two Wait, half you hour went 18, breaks. 13, 12, now you're I'm saying one, one time. I'm just saying, like, a lot of people are in there that long. They uh -huh. have 24 hour sessions, you know, lockout sessions. Yeah. So it could be 18 hours, or 13 hours, or 10 hours, or whatever. Okay. However long it takes. Okay. You know, some people a few days. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's just strange because most people would say it could be 12, 13, to 18 hours. You know, oh, you yeah, went, went back to yeah. You went all the way back then in the middle of it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Went backwards. But I get the message. Yeah. We want to check out the first video from the album. Yeah, okay. Uh, can't wait to get you home. Yeah. That's yeah. the new message. The new message. Yeah. yeah. Check it out. <laughs> Eric Gable. This is a world premiere. First time shown anywhere in the world, right here on Video Soul. Couldn't lose, isn't he? Eric Gable on Video Soul. Can't wait to get you home. You better be careful. That's Nino's girl, man. Uh, <laughs> From New Jack City. She's my girl now. <laughs> <laughs> Nino don't play that, man. <laughs> Nino's dead. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> She's okay. You can have her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. But By that is her. What's your name? Michael Michelle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you worked with her before yeah. in your first video. She did the, I uh, remember the first time in the Hard Up video with me. And um, then she went on to bigger things in terms of the movie. But you know what I mean? came back to hang out with me, do another video, uh -huh. which is very nice of her, you know. I enjoy working with her. Yeah. Yeah, we have a good time together. Uh -huh. How involved in the creative process of video making do you get? Um, I get to look at the, the treatments and I even give my ideas sometimes, but they, all, you know, they don't always go through with them. Mm -hmm. um, if, I, if I see something on the set that I, I want to do, then the director, you know, he'll be gracious enough sometimes to go ahead and mm -hmm. try it. Mm -hmm. and. Um, but um, it, I'll get more creative input as, as time goes along mm -hmm. for, uh, for certain on my next video. I'll, um, I have some ideas uh, for whatever song they release, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully it'll, um, I'll get some input. Because for, for, remember the first time, uh, they used some ideas that I had. Along a lady by the name of Sam Mattingly, she was the publicist at the time at Hush. She and I sat down and we, uh, we wrote up this script, and uh, the director, uh, you know, he liked it. He he had some of the same ideas as well. Mm -hmm. So we kind of like went along with it, and uh, yeah. everybody liked it. Earlier, you talked about uh, selecting product project uh, product for your or, or, or songs mm -hmm. for your project. Uh, do you actually do that? Do you work with someone, someone in the record company, get involved in that? Yes. How do you go about selecting songs? Well, um, Bo Huggins, who is the executive producer on the on the album, mm -hmm. um, they send the songs in. They'll, they'll send them to me or they'll send them, send them to him. And, um, you know, he'll call and say, Eric, you know, I got a song. I want you to hear it. You know, what do you think? And um, I'll be like, yeah, you know. And like, most of these songs that, that he came up with this time, it was no, like, second guessing. Them. Oh, maybe one, but we, mm -hmm. got, we got it. Once it was an up-tempo song, and I was, like, kind of like, I don't know, man, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, once, I, once I learned the song, then I was, you know, it, it came to, it all yeah. came together. But um, I have creative input in, in that area as well, and just to, in terms of what I like, you know. It, yeah. They let me know if I don't like it, you know, don't try to do it. You, know? you, you don't write? Well, I didn't get to write for this one, but I, I've started writing for my third project, you know. Mm -hmm. That's the only objective that I didn't serve for this album. I didn't get to co-produce, and I didn't get to write. Uh -huh. But trust me, you know, because I'm about the business, you know, mm -hmm. and um, I want to get that publishing thing down. So when I when I when it, that hiatus that I was in, yeah, right, <laughs> and making those withdrawals and no deposits, <laughs> you know, I can I, I can kind of get over that, you know. <laughs> so that's for the next project. You will yeah, be co-producing yeah, and yeah. writing some. And, and my management company, they're urging me to do that as well. They mm -hmm. want me to to be more business minded in that area. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well good sure, luck to you, sure. man. Yeah, thanks. Good luck with the new album. It's in the record stores today, as a matter today, of fact. It, yeah. What is a hot day in the stores? We got Prince dropping today. Public Enemy, <laughs> Eric Gable. I, I think Patty. Patty's today, too? I think so. Wow. Uh, yeah. Well, 
Like the, that's right. Patty and Prince go hand in hand nowadays, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way it looked on Arsenio. Yeah, right. Yeah. Wow. So it team. is an exciting day. Well, Eric Gable is also in the record stores. His brand new CD. So stop in and check it out. Yeah. Thanks for joining us today, man. Thanks I appreciate for having it, me, man. I'm glad. And I want to thank you for keeping me alive too. You know, while I was out. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> what did I do? So, uh, you know, you were in video, so you know, I want to. I just like to thank everybody for the time that I was away for playing the video because uh, that was one thing that kept me alive and kept my mm -hmm. mind, kept me on the minds of the public, and I, yeah. I appreciate it greatly. Yeah. Well, we appreciate yeah. good product from you, man. Well, I'm telling yeah, you, you do yeah. some, you do great work. Thank you. And we appreciate it. Continue success to you. Thank you. All right, Eric Gable, again, our guest today on Video Soul. I'm Donnie Simpson. Don't go away. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes.